Hey guys, what's up? I'm Shouse out here. And then, uh, I got a little quick tip, something that uh, I've been doing for like the longest time, right? So, now this is a quick little project I did for Kyle. I have the link to the description of this video that I did for him. Now, uh, <laughs> first of all, like uh, the whole idea, he wanted something that looked kind of corny and funny at the same time. So, you know, he also he was kind of on a time budget. So, if you look at this, you're like, ah, it kind of looks like shit. Well, yeah, <laughs> it was supposed to look like shit. So, but anyways, the point of this video is, let me see, I'm zoom in a bit more. If you notice like the flame, there's like this glow, right, coming out from the, the fire. And also the fire itself is pretty bright. Now, pretty much what I'm going to sh show you is how to use the benefit of something that I call the additive layer. Now, if you want to have a glow, most usually using a glow effect inside of After Effects, it works. The problem with the glow effect is that um, it kind of like oversaturates everything and it like kind of like makes everything look muddy if you kind of don't use the settings right. I mean, it's useful, but um, I kind of found a way to have more control and get better results by using, like I said, the add layer. Now, since I'm starting the video off with uh, <laughs> the fire, I'm going to show you how to do get a glow with fire. So, all right, let's stop that. Uh, here's a torch from Action Essentials. You want to duplicate this guy. Highlight it. Go to Edit. Duplicate. And usually I, I name this. So rename. And you say Add Layer. Or add to Additive Layer. And here in your mode, you want to go to Add. Now you can see what happens right off the bat, right? That already kind of like starts to give a glow now. To go a little step further, let's go to the effects. Let's just uh, search the fast blur. Let's drop that in there. And go to, make sure you select repeat edge pixels. And just crank this up a bit. And see right off the bat, you can see. I mean, you can go extreme, but you see how it has like that glow on the outside, which is very cool and very useful. Um, say in this case, if you had like an image in the background, because it's an additive layer, it kind of like bleeds onto the sur its surroundings. Like the glow is affecting the surrounding areas, right? It makes it look more realistic. It blends the fire effect more into its background, so. It's kind of like the benefit of having an additive layer and using the fast burn. Now, this effect, um, if you had done gun muzzle flashes, it's kind of like the same shit. This is pretty much why I learned it. However, I'm pretty sure maybe most YouTubers is <laughs> gun fights are fucking boring as shit and they're way too overplayed. <laughs> uh, sorry, but yeah, I'm just pretty fucking over it. But uh, however, <clears throat> using this technique and more in other ways is very effective, right? Now. Also, the cool thing about using this method is since this is its own layer, you can hit T and you can drop the opacity. And also, you can use the fast burn to increase the, the expansion of the glow. And, you know, like I said, you can just control it with using the opacity. Now, the reason why this is better than using a glow is let me see, let me just add a glow. So, add a glow, and, you know, it's. It works on certain things, but you increase the radius, you know, it's just, I feel like you have more control using the other method. I mean, you can control the color here, but let's see the radius. You can reduce the intensity, you know. See, the glow effects itself does have its own, you know, uses, but uh, delete that. I can put the glow inside the the additive layer itself so you know that way you can yeah see it increases the glow more and you, you still have the passive levels and like I said you have like the the blurriness and, and uh, yeah see it kinda has this nice this nice glow it's softer just I don't know I just really like the look of it whereas if you just add the glow Let's see. 
I'm gonna mess around with this a bit. Now it works, you know, as you can see. Uh, if you mess with it, it does like, uh, you know, have a good effect on it. But the thing is, as I was saying, uh, this is a normal layer, right? And this is a additive layer. So the difference is, let me turn this off. Is again, if you have a background, so this is an additive layer. This bleed that is coming up from like the flame. It gets affected onto the background image that you have, right? Now I just added like the footage from you know Kyle here just to you know explain myself better. Now from the torch, if we just add a glow, you can see yeah, I mean the fire it looks good, but as you can see here, it looks it kind of looks dark around the the edges of the fire, right? So I mean that doesn't really you know blend into like the background really good. So let me turn off the glow. Now let me turn on the additive layer again, and as you can see, now we have more of a glow that it kind of like affects this background. So it looks like the the glow of the fire is bleeding onto, say, like the cabinets here and you know, why not See that? So you can kind of compare. I'm going to take a screenshot. Turn off the glow. Turn the additive layer on again. So. You can kind of come see the difference. See, so you know, yeah, using the additive layer with the fast blur, and uh, you know, on the additive layer, you know, you add the glow itself. You know, that pretty much does help. So yeah, so yeah, if you want to, you know, do a glow of a fire or a muzzle, same thing. Just you know, using an add layer, you know, gives you way better results, and it kind of helps blend in like the fire better into like the background, right? So. You know, you can see Chris the old passage so you can see it better. You know, see that? Yeah. Let's see, I'll give you a bigger. I increase the fast bar a bit. And then, yeah, as you can see, it helps kind of blend in. I mean, obviously, I'm overdoing it, but I just want to make an example so you guys can see the difference between using this instead of uh, using a regular glow. So, yeah, definitely add layers are awesome. Now, here's a project I did lay recently, and uh, this is kind of uh, more of a flashback scene. I'll have a link in the description for this video that I helped with, but uh, you can use the add layer and footage itself, and it looks pretty cool actually. So let's select this, go to edit, go to duplicate. Now, again, select the mode to add, and it brightens everything up. And again, let's add our uh, yeah, let's add the glow. Just turn that turn that off for now, and let's say fast blur. I put the fast blur on top and let me crease it. So you can see how it kind of like has this diffused look, right? So if you want to do like a dream sequence, this is kind of a good technique to try it. Uh, let's see, let me drop the opacity. So, you know, that's none and that's all. I mean, I kind of use this method if I notice that like uh, the footage is too dark. This is kind of a good way to boost it up, you know, in a simple way. You know, obviously, you increase the noise, but, you know, yeah, see, it's kind of an easier way to, like, you know, make things brighter. But, like, again, make it an add layer. Just, you know, don't add anything, but, you know, you add the fast burr. Maybe add a glow. I don't see. Just increase the a little bit so yeah like I said it's supposed to be this was supposed to be kind of like a flashback of a dream sequence so you know it, you know without it with it so you know it kind of looks cool so you guys can mess around with that all right now in this scene um, I kind of wanted like the blinds like the light that's coming from the blinds to like uh, have like a glow look because it was kind of like a sad depressing scene so what I did here was I duplicated this uh, the base layer what I refer to it as, as the base. Let me see. I duplic duplicate that. Let's see, rename it to Blind Lights. Go to Effects, and you want to get a Luma key. And let's see. Let's increase the threshold. 
So solo this actually. So you make sure to key out the darker, increase threshold, and you wanna try to if you just want like the brightness of the blinds to come out. So let's increase that. So that's good. Maybe you can feather this a bit. Yeah, there you go. Edge thin. Yeah, it should thin a bit. All right, cool stuff. So now that you got this going, we have like the blind slides here. So do it an add again. And you can totally see what's going on. You know, like the lights here are being affected minus the girl here, uh, which is Dee Dee. You know, she's an actress, talented. So let's do the fast blur again. <laughs> fast blur is one of my friends. Repeat edge pixels and increase that and there you go. Yeah, so I don't know. That kind of is cool. It's kind of like, you know, gives it more of a, I don't know, sci-fi. I don't really don't know what kind of look. I just wanted this to pop out more, you know, have like a glow look. So this is pretty much what I did. You know, you can crease it. So you can see the difference. Yeah, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm um, sorry if I went a bit fast. I mean, I'm going to assume you have some basic knowledge of After Effects. Um, you know, there are plenty of tutorials on, you know, to get you started on After Effects. So, uh, yeah, I've been messing around with After Effects for about seven years, seven, eight years by now. So, you know, a lot of the stuff may come naturally. So I try to go as slow as possible, you know. But uh, I don't want to, you know, show you exactly how to do things. I want to show you a way to do things that way you guys can start you know messing around on your own and you know get creative you know because uh, that's basically what I'm aiming to do is uh, showing you what works for me then you guys can mess with it and you guys find your own way to do you know whatever works for you you know do it right so hopefully I'm an influence in that manner <laughs> right so anyways uh, yeah that's pretty much all I have for you I want to try and keep my videos short so yep yeah, hey thanks for watching. Uh, again, sorry if I sound all fucking retarded, but like I said, I usually do these videos when I, you know, after I wake up from working at a night shift, so uh, I just do this, you know, before I go to work again tonight to kill some time, so yep, leave a like, comment, you know, subscribe and all that stuff, and uh, yep, check out my Facebook page, all that's in the descriptions, and um, yeah, hey, thanks again and take care, peace.